orange out of the, the <laughs> Naga. I mean, you can kind of orange and then flash out of it, but um, it's going to have trouble. He was able to snag two. There goes the teleport. And what? Well, Ray's still here. Yes, what, what the heck? They're staying a little too long. Aphromoo has one more shot. He's out. There's the hit coming in from Stixay. It was the last bullet. So it does the armor in this game on the side of Apex. It's going to be up to Shrimp to try and get beefy and take those shots first. Special is in. Oh, Bastion onto Apollo. He uses the Dazzle that way. They're going to get Aphromoo onto this one. Well played by X Special. Does he leave his AD carry out to dry, though? And it looks like it was CLG that thought they were going to horn swoggle Apex. Gets turned around on that one. It goes for one for one overall. All right, they spend a bunch of flashes there. Nice pool. Gets out of the Bastion Dazzle. It looks like they're good to go. All right. Ooh. There's a, a one-two hit, half his health, and there is the displacement comp coming in from Apex. They're able to sort CLG the way they want it, but there's also a lot of damage coming from both sides. Nick Smithy, Hookie, and Aphromu are dropped. As the fight continues, it's only Ray that goes down because he's got to go oh! all in. That's going to be the ultimate coming in from X Special. The rest of the team is invulnerable as they dive in. It just wears off. Again, mm -hmm. um, they're trying to hold, but... Okay, maybe they get a pick. That's why. All right, Shrimp got, got him. Flash, he is going to be going down. And there's not much they can do about it. Get who he bigger. His Abyssal Scepter's finished up, but he also needs to get more items. I do attribute that to more of a mistake by Shrimp and Apex, though, because Apex know that they're spread thin. They're trying to be the greedy ones here, farming all three lanes. Yeah. And they're defending mid. They're just getting killed over and over. This is that yo-yo strategy you need to use. Oh, Aphromo. Aphromo. He knows he goes down. He throws out a binding to help the team for what the cause could help. That's Holy. not a flag and drag, but that is a flag. He cataclysms in and gets blown up immediately by who he. Crimpling control first. Some bindings do land, but again, special steps in front again. Here we go. Teleport from Jarvin. That's 20. He's got the home guards, but it's not going to matter. That's the knockup we were talking about, but absolutely deleted with the T and that follow up. He's over the wall for oh. for Smithy, and he gets the dragon strike in, and they're going to follow up on this. They move. Drake as well. Rek'Sai. Smithy is able to get back on the field. Oh, Afro move. Well, looks like uh, they've got some more as well. They're on the chase. Ezreal slows. Yeah, they're almost on the wrong side of the map now. Ray getting the chase down. Dodges actually the hit from Stixay, so he's got no. a full chase over to Darshan. Like Smithy is going to go down here, and Ray may just give up this chase. He gets slowed by a few barrels, and this one could go on. Percent to zero. Oh, Ray goes for the juicy minion wave and gets clapped. <laughs> Overkill, but that's what you need for and maybe that will help Kind of corral apex in these fights. They have so much movement. They kept going with the Ezreal Ray has been able to get anywhere He wants in these fights. They've been able to displace CLG however they want the gold card comes out with the barrel oh. keeps in place. This is the corralling they need raised to the back line The team is invulnerable now from that alt of X Special, and here's where Apex tries to assess the attack. Can they get in? X Special's left by himself from the back line now, and CLG's trying to make that the front. X Special flashes, he may go down. Hoogie looking for the hit, and it's gonna come in from X Smithy. They're chasing Apex out, and Apex have to continue to run. Hoogie's gonna come up with another one. The Tides of Blood picks it up, and they finally crush down three members. As man, what great control and kiting. So here comes the importance of that flash and heal. Six can he survive it? Does he want it? Flashed out. Nope. Oh, another Q. Ray may live. Dodges the Prey Seeker. Senses that something's coming from the left side. Shrimp still going after Aphromoo. Ray goes down as the cannon barrage comes through. It hits, oh. but there's not enough AP to break through the shield. And that is going to be a very alive Aphromoo. Keen ultimate is ready with Twisted Fate. There it is. He's coming in too. Turns around. He gets the, uh, the hit under the turret. Obviously, Aphromoo goes down, but he keeps getting these bindings out to help pay off for the team after the fight continues. The Prey Seeker and gets out of there. Gangplank ultimate though from Darshan, he waits for the shield to fall off critically and gets the kill. Boom, killed again. Nice. But he does have teleport. TP, a TP. All right, Ray teleported up there also. They're gonna try and chase down Huyi while he's separated. All right, flash is over, no damage to Baron just yet. Ray activates the Baron damage with that Tiamat. 
And they are going to be able to find Huhi. This Any is time more? to play on the map now. Where's the crowd control coming in? Ray is going to get Aphromoo right over the wall. Aphromoo with an over-the-shoulder binding, but he connects with the flag and dragon. He's already in with the Cosmic Radiance. Keeps him a little healthy there. The He's taking a few himself. It's worked out so far. They have a 3,000 gold lead, and they have an Xmithy. Iceborne Gauntlet's going to keep him here. He can't really tunnel away. He will go down. That does not put a 50-50 on the board, and Apex can easily bait out the Baron. Now. Okay, there's an opportunity for CLG to get a lot of AoE off in this Baron pit. Darshan starts it. There goes Huhi. Teleport in. Keen leaves himself in to take a bit of damage there. Doesn't get the Cosmic Radiance in vulnerability. Big special locked up. Who he is also in a bad spot. Shrimp's gonna go down. Dustbringer hits and locks that. Who he is the next now. As Ray is looking for another target, it's slow going. Flag and drag is down, and Stixay is firing off from the outside, knowing there's a few traps in that choke point. Back to Baron though. Yep. Apex gonna bait it once again. Let's see. Oh, binding on X special, and the Baron damage is hitting him too. No need to push yourself in this scary of a position. You have a man up, another as well, and you're almost going down to three members of Counter. Yo, Moose popped by Darshan. They are trying to get as much speed behind them as they can. It is taken down by Shrimp. Xmithy, this is a deja vu. He was just at the pit and left out to dry because the key the team could not get in range. They have Stixay on the other side of the wall. Stixay has to worry about Keen now in the back. Apollo's going down very fast and out. Afro move falls here as they trade one for one now. Who he looking to crawl out of this? The gold card! Half of the HP of Stixay and he falls! They have who he! They're gonna take him down! And Apex will come out on top of this fight no matter how long it takes them to take down the members of CLG. Apex making a great showing here. They want that playoff spot. They want don't go to the turret, but now the damage will follow through. They get some of those Lich Bait shots on that turret, and it falls just about as fast as the squishy members of Counter Logic Gaming. Apex looking to make a final stand using all of the energy from the fan vote that they could. And they are using that energy now to push through Counter Logic Gaming's base. And 10,000 gold lead plus here as they take out the first inhibitor turret and are very much in a position to get the final touches on with a few more pushes like that. This dragon, and they, unless it's a Darshan blind ulting it, there's no steel in sight. Now it's the Elder Dragon buff, true damage coming on top of every members as possible for the two Nexus turrets, and this second inhibitor is going to fall for Apex. Two down. They hope to be able to avoid oh. that and possibly get a few more turrets under their belt. Oh my god! The gate from Keen and he absolutely explodes Stixay before any of Counter Logic Gaming can think about it. Two more caught up in the Cataclysm and this is the party that Apex wanted. This is what Apex needs to push through for to get themselves in the playoff. And it looks like they're gonna put some finishing touches on. The ping and the minion wave in the bot side push this one in. Get it to roll in with the mid wave, and we are gonna go for the Nexus turrets. Three members of CLG down. I really like a CLG. I mean, oh, Apex! <laughs> <laughs> We're able to play this comp very well. Well deserved win for them. Series victory as well, and now it's up to Echo Fox. What a to game. See if they can get into playoffs. From